Oh, it's Christmas time again. What did you get me? The uh, same old thing as last year? Let's see what we got in here. Uh, what, is, what are these? Are these eyes? Where did you get these? Where do you think I got them? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And what would Christmas on a prepping channel be without flashlight reviews? We're gonna be reviewing two illumination aids today. One is newer and has some cool new features. One is much older, but also way less expensive that I think definitely competes with this new one. And before any of that, I'm gonna answer a big question that a lot of people have been expressing lately. And the question is, why is it that so many prepping channels seem to have a hard on for flashlight reviews around the Christmas holiday season? Why flashlights? There's so much prepping gear. Why is it always flashlight reviews? Well, I can answer from my perspective. The reason is that we just keep getting sent these by people that want us to review them. And, you know, we just keep doing reviews on it. Maybe because we feel like if we stop doing the reviews, they'll stop sending the free flashlights. But, you know, I don't even know why I do it at this point because I'm kind of all set in the flashlight department. We've all heard the adage, two is one and one is none. Well, with flashlights, I'm working on 20 is 19 and 19 is 18. I may even have more than that. <laughs> but, you know, I, this flashlight did have a couple cool new features. I wanted to share them with you. And as always, I like to pair it with an age old flashlight that I think, again, has a lot of uh, advantages over this one. So let's start with this one first. It's a no-name brand. There's a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, it wasn't super expensive compared to a lot of the other flashlights that I review. Uh, you know, it wasn't the cheapest in the world either. Again, you can check it out uh, down, down below if you want to look at it. Uh, but it has some cool features. It's waterproof, quote unquote. Uh, it's, it's the kind of waterproof where you can splash water on. It can be out in the rain, but you can't really submerge it. Now that said, uh, a lot of these flashlights that claim that you can't submerge them. You can kind of submerge them and as long as you dry them out, they're going to be fine. I haven't tested that on this particular one, but I find that with pretty much any flashlight that claims that you shouldn't submerge it, you can pretty much submerge them and as long as you dry them out fully before you use them again, they're usually pretty okay. Uh, this flashlight has an on, off, and uh, different mode setting button on it. it. You click it once and it has a high bright beam. You click it again and it's a little dimmer. You click it again and it goes to the sidebar and the sidebar here is kind of neat because uh, it, it can illuminate the ground below you. It's kind of a nice soft sort of illumination and it's especially neat when you pair it with this little um, a feature that it has on the back side opposite the lens. It has a magnet. So if you're doing some work, uh, you know, in an electrical panel or anything where there's like metal around working on a car, you can stick this thing on metal and position the light. In fact, I've used this as a a well, little, little kicker light for myself in a couple videos and it worked out pretty well. Uh, it ha also has a SOS thing. S, oh wait, it just did it. S, O, S right there. And then you click it again and the thing goes off. It also has the ability to, uh, when it's on the regular flashlight setting, to focus it like that, which I think is pretty cool because you can get, you know, extra throw. If a flashlight doesn't have that ability, I think it's a, an opportunity loss because, uh, you know, if you're outside and you want to, you know, focus the light pretty far away, you can do that and you can get to uh, get it focused pretty far away. The only thing that's a little bit uh, inconvenient about this flashlight is that the on off is also the mode button. So, uh, you know, whenever you want to turn it off, you know, you have to hit it multiple times oftentimes if you are, uh, you know, in one of the modes that wasn't that SOS mode. So anyway, that's one flashlight. If you're interested in that, it's a decent flashlight, links down below. It wasn't super expensive uh, and it has a lot of those kind of cool features. It's, uh, by the way, USB rechargeable uh, and it has one of those batteries that I can't remember the names on uh, the vaping batteries, those like big chunky ones. That's what it uses on the inside. So let's talk about the second illumination device. And it's an illumination device that I think doesn't get a lot of advertising, doesn't get a lot of play. And that's because it's completely free and it's already inside your head. It's your eyeballs. I think a lot of people get so hung up on the idea of flashlights that they forget that people 
have pretty good night vision even if you don't have a flashlight. And you don't need to have a full moon out and you don't need to have, you know, even all the stars exposed to be able to see pretty well at night. If you go out in the nighttime and let your eyes adjust, you're gonna be able to see pretty well into the forest or wherever you happen to be uh, in a way that you can't with a flashlight. When you have a flashlight, and I'll just illustrate it right here. Oh, I hope that's confused the uh, USB charging port here with the button. Uh, when you have a flashlight, you can see it has a pool of light, and that pool of light can be relatively small. If you, Here, I'll illustrate how many button pushes it takes again to turn the thing off. Okay, there you go. Uh, and your eyes, you don't have to turn them off. Uh, uh, when you're using your eyes, instead of a flashlight, and you're outside at night, uh, and you let them adjust, not only can you see the area right in front of you like you can with a flashlight, but you can see 360 degrees around in every direction because there is no pool of light, it goes everywhere. When you use a flashlight at night, your eyes stay adjusted to just that illumination that's right in front of you, and your irises uh, don't open up all the way, so the things that are off to the sides, it's still completely black to you. But if you go without a flashlight and allow your eyes to adjust, the, you, there is a lot of light out there. You'd be really quite surprised once you get out there how much you can really see and how little you really need a flashlight. Now, if there's no moon at all and you have full cloud cover and there are no artificial lights whatsoever, a flashlight's a nice handy thing to have in your EDC pack. But barring that one circumstance, even if the moon's not up, the stars have illumination, the sky itself has a natural illumination, the sky glows blue in the daytime from the, uh, you know, the refraction of the light going through it, but there is still a property of the sky, even in the night, that the energized particles from space are interacting with the upper atmosphere and it creates a bluish kind of glow that illuminates the ground, even without moonlight and everything. So there's quite frequently quite a bit of light out there that you maybe didn't know was there, and if you take, a, take an opportunity, Go out at night in a place that doesn't have artificial lights. Have a flashlight with you, but don't use it. Wait for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Some people say it takes up to a half an hour for your eyes to really adjust. And absorb in the forest as it is without the flashlight. You'll realize how great these devices in your head really are. Far from perfect, definitely far from perfect, but much better than I think a lot of people give them credit for. So that's it. If you're looking for Christmas presents, you can give a flashlight to someone for Christmas. You could give them a couple of severed eyes in a box. Uh, I don't know how much use that would be to you. They wouldn't work at all. But natural eyeballs or flashlights, two great Christmas great gifts. And the second one, again, would be really gross if you actually gave it to someone, so don't give that as a gift. That's it. Thanks for watching. Ho, ho, ho! This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.